Hey, 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 folks. It's Jimmy Stewart here, hoping this is finding you all doing well. Today's video is going to be on another amplifier, this time a small practice amp. And I'm talking about this guy right here, the Dan Electro Honeytone. Now, these are available on Amazon, and they're only running around $20, between $20 and $22, depending on the color you got. This one here is a black one. But people talk about practice amps all the time. And uh, I always wondered, well, is something like this really viable? I mean, it's a small little amplifier. Uh, it's got a little two-inch speaker in here. It's made out of plastic. But one thing I really liked about these as I started looking at them is how versatile it could actually be. Now, this has got a little belt clip on the back, runs off a 9-volt battery, and the battery is really, really cool. I'll show you that in the uh, close-up video, but as you can see on that, it's got the old vintage Dan Electrico 9-volt uh, in there that actually comes with it. It's pretty neat. But how versatile is it, or how much would you actually use something like this? And I don't know. I mean, when I practice guitar, I usually play it without an amp. I'll sit upstairs or in the couch or whatever, and I'll just strum and play, and I practice that way. Very rarely do I use an amplifier. But I thought to myself, well, if I had one of these, would I actually utilize it? So today's video is going to be about, is it worth it? I mean, 20 bucks, I'd say basically it's a lunch out at some point in time, or, you know, a sandwich and a beer someplace. Uh, is $20 worth it? Would you actually use it? And how good does it actually sound? Or how bad does it actually sound? Those are the things we're going to be talking about today when we take a look at the Dan Electro Honeytone, the little small portable practice amp that you can get for 20 bucks on Amazon. So let's have a look at it. Now for some of you out there that don't really know anything about Dan Electro, um, the company actually started back in the 40s, 1947, uh, and started manufacturing amplifiers out of New Jersey and supplying them to the big box stores at the time, Sears Roebuck and Company and Montgomery Wards. They uh, were branding the amps as Silvertone for Sears Roebuck and I believe they were Airlines for Montgomery Wards was the brand, all made by Dan Electro. Um, then they started manufacturing guitars later on in the 50s, early 60s. Uh, they were manufacturing guitars under the Dan Electro, Dan Electro brand, um, and then they also s furnished guitars to Sears Roebuck under the Silvertone brand. The Silvertone guitars during that time frame, uh, the Electrics, um, had a maroon, a maroon binding and the uh, Dan Electros had that tweed binding around them. And they were made out of masonite and poplar uh, to try to keep the cost down. But they were really a, a funky guitar, and uh, they, they manufactured those for a while. In 1966, they were bought out by MCA. And they moved to a larger factory in New Jersey. And uh, what basically happened was, instead of supplying guitars to the big box stores, they tried to start sending them to smaller guitar shops and what have you, and that just didn't work out. And so by 1966, when they were bought by MCA, I think they only about around maybe two or three years, and around 69, they went out of business. In the late 90s, um, a group called Evet, E-V-E-T, I believe it is, um, Evet Corporation bought the Dan Electro name and started manufacturing guitars again, the original uh, reissues of the Dan Electro guitars. Um, and they only did that for a few years. I think for like late 90s till around 2001, 2002, uh, they came out and remanufactured some of those models, uh, re-released them. Uh, if you can grab one of those, they're, they're actually quite nice. Uh, I have one, and we'll do an, a, a video on that as well, but uh, mine's a 99. Uh, convertible uh, but again they were only around for a few years um, and then I think around 2006 or so uh, Dan Electro started really focusing on re-releasing uh, and manufacturing uh, pedals guitar effect pedals and, and things like this the the uh, Honeytone uh, amp so let's take a close look at it 
All right, so here we are with the close-up video of the Honeytone N10 miniamp. Comes in a little box, and as you can see on here, it says, great vintage sound, louder than other mini amps, belt clip included, and power with a nine volt battery included, or the nine volt supply. Now that power supply is available on Amazon as an additional charge, or you can just use one of your nine volt pedal supplies that you might have handy already, which is what I did in this video. Uh, but I think the, the power supply for it runs around seven or eight bucks if you wanted to get that, or you can just run it off to nine volts. Anyway, it comes boxed up. It's got a uh, cloth bag that comes with it. It's kind of neat, I guess, to put it in and store it. It says Honeytone across it. Mine is black. I don't know if you get the, the different uh, color ones, if they're different color or not. And of course, there's the amp, not the little handle. The handle is actually leather, which is I found kind of neat. Um, not sure why it's even there, but the, it looks cool. And it's uh, a plastic casing. You also get your little instruction manual and a little uh, warranty thing that you can send in, I suppose. But you can see it looks like an old time radio type of front to it or an old car grill. You get your on LED there on the left hand side and then the first uh, knob on that is a volume on and volume and then your tone is in the center and then the overdrive is on the very right. There's a headphone jack on the side and also a jack to plug in your 9 volt converter power supply if you want to. And a belt clip on the back. It's kind of large for a belt, but it would work. It's not huge. I suppose if you wanted to walk around with it, you could. And then the battery for the 9 volt battery access is on the rear here as well. And there's that Dan Electro old style 9 volt. I thought it was a pretty cool battery. But I can tell you in the course of the video, it didn't last very long. So there's that. I'm sure there's these things have been setting on the shelves for a while and Lord knows how long a 9 volt will set there. Who knows? But it's easy access on and off. Uh, again, it's a plastic casing, a fairly heavy duty plastic. Um, it looks kind of neat. I found this interesting. There's like a leaflet that comes with it here. And uh, Obviously, it gives you the very general instructions of how to turn it on and things like that. And inserting the battery. But it also gives you these diagrams of setting up different tones with a volume control and a tone control, which I thought kind of interesting. But all kinds of different settings it tells you you can set up to, uh, to get different sounds. I thought that was kind of unique. But they get these different... Uh, from a warm fuzz to a 70s lead solo to, you know, anyway. I thought that was kind of interesting. The little leaflet and instruction booklet that comes in the box with it. And it's got a two inch speaker in there uh, with some small grill openings on the rear of it. Uh, I'm sure those most for dispersing heat than anything else. But uh, that's the Honeytone N10 mini amp. This one in black. You also have an aqua and I think a maroon one as well. So there it is. All right folks so here we got the Firefly FFPTH. It's the thin line with the two uh, P90 pickups. Let's give this little bugger a try and see what she sounds like here. So you got a volume knob, a tone, and an overdrive, and of course your input. So I'm going to turn it on. And that's your actual volume tone. I'm going to set right around the middle, I guess. And 
we'll leave the overdrive off for the time being. I just want to see what it's going to sound like if we can get in type of clean. two-inch speaker you're not going to get a lot of depth and that kind of thing but it's it sounds all right just to tone down
Let's try it with the uh, semi-hollow and see if we can get any decent sounds out of it. it with a, a p90 equipped guitar uh, I can't get a lot of the clean that I like out of it suppose if you if you enjoy having distorted practice or if you if you play with a distorted sound all the time it, I guess it would be all right I'm trying to get some clean out of it and it's a little tough to do I figured I'd try it with uh, one of my uh, FFTHs here again with the uh, just the single coils. And it's a little bit cleaner.
that's uh It's a little cleaner with the uh, single coils without the P90s. P90s are single coils as well, but they're a little bit more mid-range, more gruff. Uh, so it's going to distort a little bit more than it does with this. Now I get the distortion down. Let's bring it up a little bit. I like it better with this particular kind of guitar. I mean, for twenty dollars, I guess uh, you can't complain. I mean, what are you going to get for twenty bucks? It's not a bad little amp. It doesn't sound terrible. Um, I guess the question is, how much would I use it? And uh, I'll be honest, I don't think I'd use it a lot, but it would be something cool to have. I mean, it's kind of retro looking. It looks pretty neat. It doesn't sound terrible. It's got a little leather handle on here. I don't know why you'd actually want to use that little handle because you can simply pick it up because it weighs ounces. That's ah, pretty neat. I do have it plugged in right now and I got it plugged into one of my adapters because uh, the battery was starting to die. I don't know how it's going to chew up through batteries. It probably will. I guess if you play for more than any amount of time on there. Um, but it's pretty cool. I think for twenty dollars, it's it's worth having. I guess if you're going to utilize something like this, I guess you, if you're out busking, maybe uh, if you'd like that kind of sound. I don't know how well it would hold up uh, in a street type of situation. How long the battery would last, or how much volume you'd get, especially with street noise and cars and trucks and people. But you know. There's a ton of different options out there for, for practice amps um, in small little mini ones like this. Um, there's not many in the $20 range though, so I guess if you're willing to spend the 20 bucks and take a chance on it, uh, you know, I guess I don't see how you could lose really, but are you really going to use it? In my opinion, I probably won't use it all that much, but it's kind of retro and kind of cool to have around and for $20, what the hell, right? So. Anyway, that's the Honey Tone by Dan Electro. Uh, it's not the greatest sounding thing, but again, for $20, I guess you can't complain. It works. Um, hey, if you're in the market for something like that, they're on Amazon. They've got different colors. they got aqua and black and some other ones. Uh, again, they run between... Uh, just under 20 bucks, 19.95 to 22, 23 dollars. So, if you're looking or if you're in the market for anything like that, it does have a 
a headphone output as well. So if you wanted to run phones with it, not disturb your neighbors or whatever, you could do that. Um, and if, you know, obviously if you're looking to try and get that grungy type of sound uh, with a little bit of distortion for your rehearsal or for playing around trying to figure out where uh, your tone wants to be, I guess it would be useful for that. And for the price, you guess you can't complain. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, it's the Dan Electro Honeytone Mini Amp. And it says it goes anywhere. It's got great vintage sound. Louder than other mini amps, it says. Belt clip included, which it is. And it's powered with a 9-volt battery, which is included. That cool little uh, Dan Electro battery, which is mine, is just about dead now. Uh, or a 9-volt power supply. And I'm just using one of the 9 volts that I have going to one of my pedals down here, and it works fine. Um, that's it. The Honeytone. If you're looking for something like that, go ahead and grab one. We're going to call it a day, folks. It's Jimmy Stewart saying thank you, thank you for watching. We hope you're enjoying the amplifier reviews. Uh, another one coming up on the Boss Katana 50-watt amp. I'll be doing here shortly, so stay tuned for that. We thank you for watching. We thank you for subscribing. And until next time, it's Jimmy Stewart saying so long for now. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye, folks.